Hey you guys, in the last video, we uh, showed you how to optimize your computer, decrease your processes, and de-bloat uh, using the Chris Titus Ut Tech Utility Tool. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use TCP Optimizer and what the best settings are to make sure that our network is being managed properly, and then we get really low ping, okay? So the first thing you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're gonna wanna go to yucku.com and join my Discord server. Um, in my Discord server, I've just kinda compiled and collected a bunch of links for you guys. Um, you'll be able to see it here on the screen. Uh, the Chris Titus Tech ut Utility is right here. Um, you can click here and go to the link to copy and paste the file and run it in PowerShell yourself. Or if you want to, I went ahead and included the download uh, itself. You can click download here. It'll put Chris Titus Tech Utility on your computer. In this video, we're actually going to be focusing on TCP Optimizer. Um, so once again, I did the same thing. I put the website link if you want to download it from the website. If you just want to download it from Discord, there it is. So we're going to download TCP Optimizer. All right. Once TCP Optimizer is downloaded, it's a, it's going to run. It's, it's an exe file. It doesn't have to install or anything. It's just going to automatically open. Uh, immediately uh, after getting into it, we're going to click on our Ethernet adapter. I've actually got two network adapters. I know you see two things here. This one is the Ethernet adapter that's in my motherboard um, that was built in. This Asus XGC100C is a PCIe network adapter that I think works better for me. It gives me a little bit more access to different settings. It also keeps my buffer blood a little lower. Like I'll do a review over on it in a, in a different video. Next, we're going to click Custom. My settings are already set, set so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and go over uh, which ones to change for you guys. First of all, we you can leave your MTU value to whatever it sets. If there is no MTU value, put 1500, okay? TCP window auto-tuning, we're going to disable. Window scaling hu hu heuristics, disabled. Congestion control provider, this one's huge. Um, we're going to put this one on CTCP. Okay, if you have a uh, BBR2 in here, when you click the drop down, use BBR2. Um, but otherwise, kind of play around between CTCP and BBR2 if you have it available. Otherwise, CTCP is definitely going to provide a better connection for us. Receive side scaling, we definitely want this enabled. And then we're going to disable receive segment coalescing. Coalescing is junk and it does not do anything but increase your buffer bloat. Time to live, we're going to set to 64. ECN capability disabled, check some offloading disabled, TCP chimney offload disabled, large send offload disabled, TCP 1323 timestamps disabled. Okay, so that's all the settings on this page. We're also gonna make sure this slider right here is dragged all the way over, okay? Advanced settings, four and two should be pretty standard here for everybody. Uh, what I notice a lot with with, with most people is that host resolution priority is, isn't set properly. So we're just going to go down the list here. And in each one of these boxes, we're going to put four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Max in retransmissions. We want to we want to reduce this to two. We're going to disable non-stack RTT, resi non uh, RTT resiliency. Initial RTO, we're going to set that value to 2,000. Minimal RTO, we're going to set it to 3,000. On the right hand side, you've got type quality of service. We're going to set that to zero. Uh, then we're going to set our QoS to optimal. Okay. Um, I, I've I've actually heard uh, with the next one, gaming tweak network throttling index, um, disabled is is by far the best. I've tested uh, all all three of these. Um, I, I but I've actually heard that the next setting here, system responsiveness. Um, if you set it to gaming, it 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 defaults to the optimal of ten. It's it's really placebo. For me, I like placebo sometimes. So I said it's zero. Uh, gaming tweak, disable Nagel's algorithm. TCP act frequency, we're going to set to disabled. TCP node delay, we're going to enable. TCP delete act ticks, we're going to set to disabled. Now, TCP act frequency, um, you do not want to disable if you play Minecraft. So if you're a Minecraft user and you're looking to get more performance, do not do the TCP Act frequency one. Okay, leave it at enabled and leave it alone. Uh, network memory allocation, we're going to set to enabled. Size, we're going to set to optimized. 
Max user port six six five five three four. TCP time to wait delay. We're gonna set it to thirty. After you do that, guys, you're done. Click apply changes. It's gonna apply. Boop. I went ahead and did it. Just to where you guys see me do it. I hate when I watch those videos and the guys are like, "Okay, you're just gonna click it." Don't do nothing else. And then they just switch over to another screen. I like to do this all in one video, no cuts, uh, so that we can actually see what's happening. It's going to say some registry changes may require reboot to take effect. Would you like to reboot now? I'm going to go ahead and reboot. Um, no, I'm not going to reboot for the sake of the video, uh, but uh, you, you definitely are. So reboot your system, log back in, enjoy having lower ping. You're welcome. This is the end of the video. Go go like, share, subscribe. Hit all hit all the buttons that you hit when you want a creator to do good. Leave a comment down below. If you use these tools, comment in the Discord, comment down below in this video. Let me know how it worked for you, okay? If you have problems, hit me up. I'll try to help.